According to some ex-insiders that worked for uh, the social media company Gitter, that uh, right-wing site that was supposed to be like Twitter, but Gitter, um, they're coming forward and talking about some of these things to talk about how it was run so badly, like as a couple high schoolers just messing around. Now, on December 28th, uh, Gitter laid off its entire IT staff, and we did know before this is this company that had issues with cybersecurity and all that type of stuff. Um, but they're talking about these security threats that will be growing from that. So from uh, the examiner here, uh, insider, I'm sorry, uh, 13 staff members, including the company's chief information officer and chief information security officer, were laid off by Gitter less than three months after they were hired. Uh, the three former employees they told, again, the Washington Examiner, but none of the 13 workers that were replaced that were laid off, of course. Um, they said they could no longer employ them, and it's just kind of becoming an empty house. I, I, I don't know how they survived the first wave of all the things when people's information was getting put forward and, and lost, but they survived this far. Uh, but one of the top ex-employees didn't hold back about this critique as well. In all honesty, in all my years of doing cybersecurity, I've never seen a company this poorly run from business operations all the way to IT. It looks like a high school operation. And also there's an email statement from the Washington Examiner. Uh, Jason Miller talked to them. And he had this to say, um, our position remains strong with over 4.5 million users. And this month we'll be releasing Vision, our short video format, which will compete with TikTok and Instagram Reels. I sure guess he's will. feeling pretty comfortable. Oh Yeah, of course it is. Um, so, all right, there's hilarious parts of the story, of course. Uh, first of all, we told you it would be run like a high school operation. Uh, these Republicans, you know, they talk a big game about capitalism, but they couldn't run a business where their life depended on it. Uh, Trump bankrupted six different companies. And then he said while he was running, oh no, that's good business. Makes me smart. Mm -hmm. No, I think making a profit is good business. <laughs> Bankrupting your company is <laughs> quite the opposite. But they're right wingers, so they believed him. Uh, and so uh, Trump's own media company, uh, savvy right wingers in Silicon Valley were talking about, oh wow, that could actually, that, it's a SPAC and it's complicated, but that could actually turn into a multi-billion dollar corporation before it even does anything, right? And I said on the show, it won't. And the reason is, in the beginning I was worried. I'm like, oh my God, he actually, all he has to do is like the bare minimum and he'll fall into two and a half billion dollars, yeah. right? But they can't even do the bare minimum. All they ever do is hire clowns because they're so interested in corruption. That hiring a normal professional to do their job to them seems unthinkable. So who did Trump hire for his company to run it? Devin Nunes, one of the dumbest guys in the country. You think Devin Nunes knows how to run a media company? He doesn't even know how to run his own brain. <laughs> so now this getter is different. Jason Miller tried to get Trump to join, but Trump wouldn't because he did. Apparently Miller didn't offer enough money. Oh. And so, but Jason Miller worked for Trump for a long time. He's just as dumb as Trump. So here's a great example of it. Jason Miller says in an interview recently, "Oh no, we're doing great. We got four and a half million users." And you go on Getter, and Joe Rogan has nine million followers. <laughs> Wait, if the entire platform has four and a half million users, how could Joe Rogan have nine million followers? Then they're the biggest clowns in the world. They, all they can think is short term money, money, give me the money. Okay, I got money. They take it, they stuff it into their pockets and they run. <laughs> okay, you can't run a platform without competent tech. You, know, you can't hire, fire your chief technical officer, etc. By the way, as always, there is a corruption angle coming, so hold for that, David. Well, I was just gonna say, I mean, I'm surprised they just didn't pull the plug entirely. You're gonna lay off your tech people and basically invite the entire world to hack the platform that exists. Oh, come on, this is gonna get even sillier. I mean, pretty soon, yeah, they're gonna have, you know, they're probably gonna double the number of users, but like a million of them are gonna be bots from Russia and China that are gonna just mess with them. And never mind the, you know, 17 and 18 year old kids who are stuck in their basement who are just gonna have some fun as well. Yeah, totally. And so, although on their new TikTok thing, they could ban, uh, they could burn books and have fun with that. Um, <laughs> so, but last thing is the corruption. So, it turns out part of the reason they're firing their chief technical officer and etc. is because uh, there's a Chinese investor um, that mm. uh, is involved, and so he's involved in a lot of these shady operations, including Steve Bannon stuff. And so, apparently, he wanted his own Chinese. Tech, chief technical officer to run it. I bet there won't be any problems there at all. <laughs> okay, and and the hilarious thing is that the right wing is like, oh, China virus. 
We're totally opposed to China. Half their media is funded by this mysterious, it's the same guy, mysterious Chinese investor. <laughs> They're such a funny joke. Biden just keeps folding to the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently Miller and Bannon do. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.